look at 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Thank God in everything. Say everything. everything. No matter what the circumstances may be. No matter what the circumstances may be. Be thankful. Be thankful. And give thanks. Yes. Give yes. thanks. Notice that that's to be thankful and give thanks. Mm -hmm. To me, be thankful is an attitude. Yes. Don't you think? Be give thanks is an action. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So you're gonna you choose to be thankful. Yeah. And you know you, you have to just exercise that. You just yes. choose to be thankful, and then you give thanks. Yes. And sometimes you're going to have to look really hard <laughs> for, for what you're thankful for. Yes. Really. Yes. You know? Yes. If you fell and broke your leg, be thankful it wasn't two legs. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you just got to you, you find something to be thankful for. Yes. Yes. It's just going to train yourself. Because if you start complaining, well, God, where were you? Or if this, if you were doing this, this wouldn't have happened. They start putting blame on other people. No, uh -uh. you'd just be thankful. And then you know what? God turns that around. God will turn it around. No matter what the circumstances be, be thankful and give thanks, for this is the will of God for you. Yes. Not necessarily that situation. Do you follow me? Yes. We're not thanking Him for maybe the evil that happened. Right. Yeah, you, know, you hear about somebody raping a baby, you know. Mm -hmm. No, you're not going to be thankful that that happened. No. Jesus. But in everything, thank you, God, that you are the comforter. Thank yes. you, God, that you can yes. you can heal this family's right. life. Right. Thank you, God, that you're greater than this. Yes. You know, I'm pulling on your goodness to turn this situation around. Yes. You follow me? Yes. We don't? Yes. It's yeah. the will of God to be thankful. Yes. Not the will of God that evil happened. You follow me? No. Okay. Yes. For this is the will of God for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and mediator of that will. Okay? Yes. It's His will for us to be thankful. Yes. Hebrews 3, I mean, Hebrews 13, 15. Through Him, therefore, you know, when you see a therefore, you look to see what it's there for. Yes. yes. Through him, therefore, let us constantly and at all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of lips that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. It's a, sac it's a sacrifice of praise. That means you don't necessarily feel like it. Which is the fruit of our lips. Now what did we learn about that? Flip back to... Where's that fruit, remember? Isaiah 57. Ooh. Yes, thank you. The very first, the second verse that we read. Yes. Okay? I create the fruit of his lips. And I will heal him and make his lips blossom anew with speech in thankful praise. Yes, amen. Okay? So here we go, which is the fruit, the sacrifice of praise is the fruit of the lips that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. The fruit of our lips, it, it will produce fruit, you guys. Thanksgiving and a grateful heart will produce fruit. And you don't do it just when everything's going right. right. Otherwise it's not a sacrifice. That's right. A sacrifice is when you don't feel like it, and things yeah. aren't going right. And you you look really hard, and you, it, you sometimes you just thank God that he's God, that he's bigger than this. I mean, there was times where we'd gone through stuff with kids, and I remember when my husband was going through a labor dispute, and there was bomb threats and all tires being slashed, and I mean, it was all kinds of stuff. I had to just praise God. God, that he was bigger than that. Lord, I praise you that I can trust you no matter what it looks like. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the fruit of your lips produce... Lord, I, I can hardly wait to see how you're going to turn this around. Amen. I can hardly wait to see what you're going to do with this. You know? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. So put your
your hands up. And I just release to you right now the ability to praise Him. Yes. I release to you that you're able to see the good in each situation. Yes. I cancel off of you worry and anxiety and the cares of this life. Yeah. Just shake it off. Shake it off. Just let it go. Yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna hang on to that. Uh uh. Amen. We simply let it go. Now if it's if the care is connected to being offended with somebody, let that go right along with it. We just let it go. We let it go. Yeah. We let it go. Yeah. And we ask you, Lord, to bless that person. Amen. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them, bless them with an understanding heart. Bless them with revelation from you. Yes. And Lord, now we receive from you um, every good and perfect thing that you have in life. Yes, yes, yes. And a friend of mine said this, and I'm going to have you do this now. We repent of doubt. We just repent of doubt. We just repent of doubt. In Jesus' name. You know, doubt will shut the door. Yes. When you're trying to get it open. Yes. We repent of doubt. Yes. We let it go. We let go of discouragement and disappointment. Yes. Don't we? Yes. And we, we, we pull up our expectations and we bring it up to a higher level. Yes. Yes. Higher level. Way up. Way up. Yes. Higher expectations. Yes. Lord, that, you, that we can see things from your point of view. Yes. 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 Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's Amen. praise him. Yeah. Um, be thankful and say so. Yes. Say, 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 say. Say, say so. Say so. Okay. This is our assignment. We've just gone through the scriptures. We've gone through the um, recognizing that it's God's will for us to be thankful in all things. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So number one on your paper. Uh, find you a blank piece of paper or whatever. I want you, I'm going to give you just a few, a couple minutes. Um, maybe I'm just going to do it um, one minute. When I say go, I want you to hot pin it. That means you, you don't stop and think about it. You just start writing it down. I want you to start writing down everything you're thankful for. Okay? Ready, set, go. <laughs> did you list? Anybody more than 10? Okay, there. How many did you have? 13. 13. 14. See, you get in that flow. This would be good for you to do every morning when you wake up with the Lord. Just start with a grateful heart. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Um, I was given a blessing book um, by a businessman that we prayed for. And every night you're supposed to write down what you're thankful for that God did for you that day. I thought, how cool is that? Because it makes you capture it and recognize, oh, thank you, Lord, you did this. Yes, you did this. Okay, number two, I want you to think about a hard situation that you might be in, or maybe somebody in your family's in, um, that you need to give thanks for. Okay? Just th think about that hard situation. Whatever is bringing your attention to, just jot that down. Okay? 
Now, bring your request to him for that situation in a form of thanksgiving. Okay? In a crafted prayer from the word. So, <clears throat> maybe that situation uh, is a, a health, maybe a, a healing for something. Okay? So, the crafted prayer, thanksgiving, you're going to thank God that he's He's your healer, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, what scripture comes to your mind for that? He sent his word and healed them of all their diseases, right? Uh, by his stripes, you were healed. Okay. Whatever. So a crafted prayer is, I. you've got to pull Thanksgiving into it, okay? So what? maybe it's finances. You're going to thank him for being your provision, right? And then you, you're going to take a scripture and you're going to apply it. Okay? Mm -hmm. so it, you make your request known to him, but you do it with thanksgiving. Okay? All right. So do that. It'll teach you, it'll help you not um, pray the problem. You pray the answer. You're aware of the situation, but you don't... Remember, if he's going to give you the fruit of your lips, don't be telling him the problem. He already knows the problem. <laughs> so you don't, you don't... If you're going to be given the fruit of your lips, you make your requests known with thanksgiving. That means you believe that he's able, right? <laughs> Okay? You got that? Yes. Is that helpful? Did anybody have a hard time with that one? Mm, yeah. Did you? Okay. You want to you wanna give me a situation? Okay. Okay. I have to um, have to pay something. Okay. She got a bill, a bill to be paid. So I said, thank you, Lord, for showing me I count on you to provide my needs and you're teaching me to do my finances the way you want me to do it. Please provide and I won't do this again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some repentance there? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. You know, you face, you face it. Yes. You know, yeah. All of us have that's made good. mistakes. Okay? Yes. So we're going to thank him. We could, what else could she add to that? That, that? that she has the mind of Christ. Amen. Right. Right. Also, look and see what's the root of it. Why, why did we make that mistake? Like if I forgot about something, well, why did I forget about it? Well, I was too busy, maybe. Mm -hmm. I had too much on my mind. I didn't, you know. So now I want to thank him that I have the mind of Christ. I thank him that um, he works it all to my good. I thank him that he forgives me yes. for Amen. things that when I haven't been yes. necessarily yes. wise, yes. right? Amen. See, you thank yes. him, yes. and then, Lord, I, I can hardly wait to see how you're going to turn this around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right? That's good. Okay, what's another one? Who else had their hand up? Well, my son was out of a job for almost three months after this company laid him off. They had been working there for three years. They closed his division, so he did everything he knew to do. He tried to sell cars. He didn't have to bring, but they got behind on their house payment and the car payment. So I constantly just thank the Lord for that job that was a perfect job. Well, he got hired one day, then they let him go the next day for some reason, whatever. So I said, God did not mean for that job to be yours. There's a better one. And I just kept encouraging him. So it was past Monday, he started a job. And he'll be a, it'll be a good salary job plus commission, and and then I just said the devil has to pay back seven times what he has stolen from that family mm. in whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So he's back to work. So thank God. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. No, I was praising for her. Uh -huh. Just, yes. Okay. Well, that's hard on Mama when you see your son. You know, yes. Like that. Of course. You can't help him. <laughs> of course. Okay. Now the number four. Let's let's do this. Okay. Number, three. Three. number three. Oh. We didn't do number two? No, that was two. <laughs> yeah. Number two is you pick a hard situation. Mm -hmm. 
that, uh, and, yeah. and you find something to be yeah, thankful for. Okay, number three, you bring your request to him for a, for the situation in the form of a crafted prayer. Oh, so you just you just did that crafted prayer. So, okay, now number four, what hinders you from being thankful? Okay. Being a family. What, what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so look and see. Think much. about that situation in particular. If you find yourself worrying about, maybe you're worrying about a child in your family. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's hindering you from being thankful? Mm -hmm. Worry. What? Why? What's the root of worry? Yeah. Fear. 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 Your fear that Anger. maybe something is going to happen. Fear. Fear. Anger could do it. Unbelief. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're not trust. We're not yeah. trusting him. Is a lack of faith that he's bigger than than this situation. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sometimes we need to face the very thing that's hindering us from being thankful. Yeah. You know, I say, okay, I'm given a sacrifice of praise, so I'm going to be I'm thankful, Lord, and I praise you. But inside. There, that worry and that fear is still there. So now we, we need to address that. Yeah. You know, okay. And, and sometimes I'll say, Lord, why am I worried? Why am I having trouble f trusting you on this? Yeah. And then be quiet. Let him think. Let him talk to you. He might bring a memory to you way back where you felt like God let you down. And, and, and then you have to look at it and say, Lord, I am so sorry. I felt like you let me down on this. So it's hard for me to trust you on this thing because back here, I really don't understand why you let that happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, sometimes we just keep putting a band-aid on it. And I don't want having a thankful heart and being grateful to be your band-aid. It's, you know... It's extra, we want to develop that muscle, but if you find yourself having trouble thanking him in this, if you keep worrying about your daughter or whoever it is, yes, why is it that we are having trouble trusting him on this? If there's anxiety connected. I was upset myself because I allowed some things to happen. Mm -hmm. So then we have to forgive ourselves because yeah. sometimes we think, well, if I was a better was mother, saw, if I would have been I, doing this, I saw this would what was going to happen, and I felt to go before the throne of God and petition against the enemy mm -hmm. to stop it from happening. Yeah, and I had the power to do that, but I failed to do that when God showed me to do that, and I got upset with me. Mm -hmm. So then you forgive yourself, you forgive yourself, and you accept do overs. <laughs> Do overs. Well, I know that when um, talk loud. When I, I face a giant in my life, and I couldn't see any way possible that this person was going to change, mm -hmm. I realized that there was somebody that was like the Pastor Tommy, mm -hmm. that was um, an abusive man, and um, he was even in the ministry and mm -hmm. was beating up his wife. Mm -hmm. And, and that's his ministry now, is for ministers who, you know, have hidden that. And he's like, if it wasn't for my wife praying for me, and the Lord delivering me, yes. he goes, you know, but so I was going, Lord, if you're the same God yes. right. who delivered Pastor Tommy, and who loves yes. his wife now, who uh, prays for ministers yes. to, to right. adore their wife, you, you have that power. You're the same God, so you can you can save this other person that's in my life, right? And you can deliver this person. Mm -hmm. And so it's like you gotta mm -hmm. find somebody like me. I, I was never abusive, but I got abused. Right. But yeah, it's just like you can find somebody yes. that God has. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know. No. Um, <laughs> but you know, you, you know somebody in your life that the Lord has brought to you that you can go, you know what, that's a great example, or you've done something in their life, so I know that you can change mm -hmm. this person. Amen, amen. In my life right yes. here, you can change them. Yes. You, that's good. You find an example, and, and if you don't know somebody necessarily, get in the Word. This isn't a fairy tale. Yeah, that's right. It's true stories. Yes, amen. You know, so, and, and it's not over till it's over. 
You know? So, like, what if Joseph would have given up? Right. That's a good you know? Yeah. I mean, here That's he's betrayed by his family. Amen. His brothers, you know, selling him into slavery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, about and, and really, when you go into the background, the history of it was human trafficking. Mm -hmm. He was yes, he lying. was being mm -hmm. uh, yes. sold for sexual purposes, mm -hmm. and and God rescued him from that. Mm -hmm. And then you know he's working and things are doing good, and then he's accused of rape, and and he didn't or oh, attempted rape. Yeah. And then he's thrown in prison. Yeah. You're thinking, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And he could have said, God, yeah. <laughs> what's with this? You yeah. know? Yeah. But you just oh, keep he trusting. Just like Leanne was saying, you just keep yeah. trusting. Yeah. You just keep yeah. trusting. Yeah. You choose to trust. Yeah. And then, what in the natural, it looks like he's pillaring downward, you know? Not only is he rejected by his family, now by his job. Now he's thrown in prison for something he didn't do. It looks hopeless, and yet that's the very place where he got promoted. That's right. That's he needed to be in that spot in order to be promoted yes. to where he yeah. needed to be. Yeah. He also right. saved his whole family from the. That's right. Family. God used him to save Israel. That's kind right. of like a save Job, the nations. Kind of like a Job story too. Job. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Losing there's, everything, there's nothing, even when you didn't have nothing. See, look, there's a lot of stories yeah. in the yeah. Bible, yeah. true stories yeah. where yeah. God, yeah. Um, yeah. He took the most impossible situations. Yeah. And the bottom line is trusting Him. Amen. So identify, why am I having trouble trusting you on this? And maybe it is because somebody is acting like a jerk. Yeah. And maybe they're acting like a jerk to somebody that you love. Yes. And so your mama heart wants to rise up and you want no, to no, no, no. be offended or be, you know, judgmental. Oh. And really we need to cry out for their salvation. Yes. 